you hear all that? You yeah. heard that? Yeah. <laughs> My son back there. I don't know, y'all. I don't know, y'all. Unfortunately, we're not out of this mess yet. The hits just keep on coming for Gotham Hemi right now. As you can hear, no clue what that is. My fans are turned off, and it started when I pulled the car out of the garage and I opened the door. So at first I thought it was my door chime that was all messed up, but as soon as I closed the door, it would stop, and as soon as I opened the other doors, it started again. But now, as you can hear, it just seems to be an intermittent issue. Uh, and it just started started today. So, I don't know what the heck it is. I do know that it's annoying as hell. <laughs> and it needs to be fixed right away. The hell is that? I have no clue what that is. All it, all that it did, all that I did to start it was put the car in park. It almost sounds like it's coming from the speaker, but I can play music and everything just fine. So, I don't know y'all, I don't know. We're just gonna have to see how this one goes. All right, y'all, so, man. Got off work and I drove home and let me tell you, that was the most enduring ride home ever. Whatever's going on, it ain't good. It's annoying as hell. Um, and it's frankly got me concerned. So, on the way to work, it only lasted for about one third of the trip. So, thankfully, the majority of the trip, I didn't, I didn't actually be hearing all that noise. So, I actually kind of figured that the problem, uh, you know, I figured something was stuck, and. Whatever it, it, you know, it cleared. Two minutes in my drive home, it stopped again, and all the way home didn't stop. It stopped, but just intermittently, it didn't stop and stay stopped. So, <clears throat> seems to be some kind of major issue. Um, you know, I got home, popped my my hood, gave a visual check underneath the hood. Looks in order, and it's like it's really loud. It's obnoxious. I thought that you know it was in the dashboard, and it being in the dashboard inside of the cabin, I figured that you know I was hearing most of it inside the car. No, no, it's it's just as audible outside of the car as it is inside of the car, if not more so. So that's yeah, really concerning too. Uh, like I, I put my parked car in the garage, went upstairs, and very clearly in my house. I mean, granted, everybody's asleep and everything, not a whole lot of noise, but I can hear it, you know, the whole way. So, don't know what it is, don't know what's going on. Uh, like I said, I gave a visual check underneath the, the uh, hood, and then, you know, cause it sounds like it's an electrical thing so much at first I thought it might be a fan thing but I'm not so much concerned that it's a fan thing anymore um, and you know just to see if you know, some kind of electrical gimmick was happening because the, the headlight I removed the headlight um, no difference and you know I don't think 
like his fans at all either because I turned all the fans off like I said and like the whole way home I didn't have fans on at all I was playing with them a little bit but for the most part I just left them off to see if it would go away no dice and then like even after powering off the car it went for about a good 20 minutes after I turned power down the car um so I don't know it's, it's obviously something electrical um it was going off the whole time I was under the hood and then I went into the, the trunk to the battery and I disconnected the battery um, it stopped right away so as I put the battery plug, uh, plugged it back on the battery though started going again so uh, we're gonna have to see uh, it's under the dashboard so I don't think that's something that I'm gonna do myself Thankfully, I do have a extended full warranty, so Gotham Hemi might be down in the near future. We'll see. Um, we're like three days away from Christmas, so I doubt that she's going to be seen anytime soon. Uh, yeah, I hope to God I'm not going to be driving with all that noise. <laughs> Alright, everybody. So, as you can see... I am currently in the car wash right now. Um, touchless, of course, make sure you're always using a touchless car wash if you're not doing it yourself. Um, but a quick update, so I did some research on to what that obnoxious ticking is in my car. And uh, thankfully, it's nothing big. It is going to be, um, you know, kind of a pain to get to. It's uh, the actuator inside of my dashboard and uh, for those who don't know um, basically there's a flap inside of your dashboard that lets cold air in lets hot air in and uh, I guess it's a, a pretty known problem for Chrysler 300s that those go bad so uh, it's a, only like a $20 part so the unfortunate part is that I have to uh, take off basically I have to go in through my dashboard or um, glove compartment I gotta take the glove compartment out or on the driver's side there's a second one um, and I might have to pop off the dashboard a little bit so um, not too big of a, not too big of a deal uh, it's just been annoying to deal with but the fix itself isn't gonna be anything huge so uh, I'll get back at you guys with that install. Uh, show you guys, the, pull the piece out for you guys, show you the new piece, give you the price and all that, everything coming up. So uh, stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. I uh, kind of feel like we dodged a bullet on this one. It, it make it all, you know, the worst thing that could ever happen to your car is unwanted noises when you don't know what the heck the noise is going on. That, that really makes you wonder. So, uh, yeah. Not too big of a deal, thankfully. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment, share, all of that, guys. Keep on supporting. I, sp I appreciate every single one of you that have supported so far. We're going to continue this thing. We're going to continue. Got the Hemi's going to keep growing as a beast. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.